This lesson will cover the following topics. Pollutant emissions. Exhaust gas recirculation. The oxidation catalyst. Under ideal conditions, engine combustion would only produce water and carbon dioxide. However, combustion is not perfect and produces various pollutants. Manufacturers are reducing the four main pollutants. Carbon monoxide, CO. Nitrogen oxides, NOx. Unburnt hydrocarbons, HC. And particles. There are various causes of pollutant production. Pollutants are considered as harmful. Pollutants have impacts on health, irritation of the respiratory tracts and eyes, faintness, muscular weakness, etc. These pollutants cause the pollution fogs known as smog and acid rain. Pollutant emissions are regulated by increasingly strict emissions standards. You can see how these standards have changed on the graph. The opacity of the exhaust gases results from the presence of carbon particles produced from the combustion of the diesel fuel. The higher the number of particles, the greater the opacity and therefore the higher the pollution level. The opacity test requires several full load acceleration cycles to be carried out. Checking the exhaust gases with an opacimeter verifies the vehicle's compliance with the emissions standards. The oil vapor rebreathing system is used to recycle fuel vapor contained in the oil. The vapors are rooted inside the inlet manifold via a regulating valve and are finally burnt during the combustion phase. Large amounts of oil vapors are recycled inside the inlet manifold. Small amounts of oil vapors are recycled via a calibrated jet. In this section we covered the following points. Exhaust gases contain the following pollutants. Carbon monoxide, CO. Nitrogen oxide, NOx. Unburnt hydrocarbons, HC. And particles. There are various causes of pollutant production. Pollutants have an impact on health and the environment. Pollutant emissions are regulated by increasingly strict emissions standards. Checking the exhaust gases with an opacimeter verifies the vehicle's compliance with the emissions standards. The oil vapor rebreathing system is used to recycle fuel vapor contained in the oil. The exhaust gas recirculation, or EGR, function is used to reduce the nitrogen oxide content of the exhaust gases. This function uses the following components. The coolant temperature sensor, the engine flywheel sensor, the accelerator pedal position sensor, the exhaust gas recirculation valve, and the exhaust gas recirculation valve position sensor. Nitrogen oxides present in the exhaust gases are caused by a high combustion temperature. The EGR valve is controlled by a modulated pulse current, RCO, by sending exhaust gases which have already been burnt back into the inlet manifold, the quantity of oxygen involved in combustion is reduced. The combustion temperature is therefore lower. The EGR valve may appear in the following forms. As a valve activated by an electromagnet, or as a valve activated by an electric motor. The conditions generally required to enable exhaust gas recirculation are as follows. Warm engine. Engine at an average speed. And the accelerator pedal position at an average load. Depending on the various parameters, the computer determines the required rate of recirculation. The computer controls the EGR valve. 
The EGR valve position sensor transmits the true position of the EGR valve. The computer can adjust the valve control. Any fault on the exhaust gas recirculation function components will inhibit the function. Fitted after the air filter, the flow meter measures the mass of clean air taken in by the engine. This information allows the computer to manage the quantity of exhaust gas entering to provide the best rate of recirculation. Vehicles not equipped with a flow meter have an air temperature sensor. This information, linked to the turbocharging pressure, allows the computer to calculate the mass of air entering. Some EGR circuits have a recycled gas cooling element. The recycled gas is passed through an exchanger cooled by the engine cooling circuit. The reduction in the temperature of the recycled gases has the benefit of reducing the quantity of nitrogen oxide. Some systems use a bypass valve. Depending on the temperature conditions, this valve directs the recycled gases through the cooler or straight to the inlet manifold. During the period when the engine temperature is rising, the recycled gases are not cooled. In fact, the increased temperature of the recycled gases speeds up the engine's warming up. Once the temperature limit is reached, the gases pass through the cooler. The bypass valve is activated pneumatically via a solenoid valve controlled by the injection computer. In this section, we covered the following points. The exhaust gas recirculation, or EGR, function is used to reduce the nitrogen oxide content of the exhaust gases. The nitrogen oxide present in the exhaust gases is caused by a high combustion temperature. Exhaust gas recirculation is activated under certain conditions. The EGR valve position sensor transmits the true position of the EGR valve. Any fault on the exhaust gas recirculation function components will inhibit the function. The flow meter manages the quantity of exhaust gas entering to provide the best rate of recirculation. Some EGR circuits have a recycled gas cooling element. A bypass valve directs the recycled gases through the cooler or straight to the inlet manifold. The role of the catalyst is to convert pollutant gases into harmless gases. The catalyst contains precious metals that cause chemical reactions. The catalysts used on diesel engines treat carbon monoxide and unburnt elements and are called oxidation catalysts. Some vehicles are equipped with a pre-converter to improve the control of emissions. The catalytic converter comprises a stainless steel outer shell. The outer shell contains a honeycomb structure ceramic block. The honeycomb structure makes it possible to increase the contact surface between the exhaust gases and the precious metals. The precious metals cause chemical reactions inside the catalyst. These reactions convert pollutant gases into harmless gases. The efficiency of the catalyst depends on the temperature. The catalyst only becomes efficient from a certain gas temperature, known as the priming temperature. However, over 1000 degrees, the ceramic material is destroyed. The priming temperature is between 130 and 150 degrees Celsius. A catalytic converter is a fairly fragile component. It can be broken by various factors. Mechanical effects? thermal effects and clogging. Mechanical stresses or heat can rupture the ceramic blocks. The ceramic material may melt as a result of overheating due to too great a quantity of pollutants to handle. The surface in contact with the gases to be treated may be coated in oil, soot or other products. In this section we covered the following points. The role of the catalyst is to convert pollutant gases into harmless gases. The catalytic converter comprises a stainless steel outer shell. The outer shell contains a honeycomb structure ceramic block. 
The precious metals cause chemical reactions inside the catalyst. The efficiency of the catalyst depends on the temperature. The priming temperature is between 130 and 150 degrees Celsius. A catalytic converter is a fairly fragile component. It can be broken by mechanical effects, heat effects and clogging.